students this week have been working on counting on and back by 10 and by 100 in class. Let's take a closer look at what we've been working on. I've been giving students to start with a two-digit number and asking them to either give me 10 more or 10 less than this number. I always provide what is called a hundreds grid. This is a way for them to visually recognize numbers and also recognize the counting patterns that go along with those numbers. It is my hope that with more exposure to the hundreds grid, this will eventually become almost a visual memory tool that they can use in their math work. So in the problem 56, I've been having them find the number on the hundreds grid. I am going to circle 56 here. Through our investigation, we know that all we have to do is jump down one row to add 10 anywhere on the hundreds chart. If I wanted 10 more than 56, I simply have to jump down a row and I will get the number 66. Another way to do this is to look at the tens digit or the first number and that is 5. If I have 5 and add one more, I will get 6. I can also plug that into the first number keeping my ones digit to be the same. Let's take another look at a less than problem. If I'm looking to find 10 less than 72, one strategy I could use would be to find 72 on my hundreds grid. Through investigations also in class, we know that to get 10 less, I simply have to jump up a row to find that number. Looking at the hundreds grid, I can tell that that number is 62. I can also tell by looking at the tens digit a 7 and subtracting 1, I know that 7 minus 1 is 6. That could be my tens digit and I could keep the ones digit the same. I would still get the number 62. Now we're getting into bigger numbers. This seems to be difficult for some students in class at this time. Here's something that I've been telling them to do. If I'm looking at a three digit number and trying to find 10 less, it can be difficult for me to try to figure out what number I need to take one away from. I've been telling them to cross out this hundreds digit because it makes my brain hurt. Just look at the last two digits when we're doing work like this. You can simply keep this eight and put it right back over on the front. But don't worry about it up here. Just pretend it's a two digit number. When I do that, let's look for 27 on the hundreds grid. If I'm trying to find 10 less, I know I simply have to go up a row and I will see that that number is 17. Again, I could look at the two, I could take away one to get one, and also add that as my tens digit, and my seven or my one would follow. I'm still gonna get the same answer, 817. Again, if I'm looking at a three digit number, I'm prompting them, you know what, cross out that hundreds digit, it makes my brain hurt. Let's just put it down here for now. Pretend it's a two digit number. When I do that, we're going to find 19 on the hundreds grid. When I find more, I know that I jump down a row, and that will give me the number 29. I could also take my ones digit, which is 1. I could add one more if we're doing more, and I would get the number of 2, which I'd keep as my 10 digit and keeping my 9 the same. I would still get the number 329. Now, a hundred more than seems to be an easier concept for them to understand. How I have been teaching them in class, when I see a three digit number and I see that it's a hundred more, I'm going to circle the number in the hundreds place. I know that that number is four and if I have to add 100 more, that's the same as me saying four plus one more, which is going to give me five 500, I don't have to worry about any of these two numbers that are left over. My final answer would be 525. Same thing if I'm looking at 100 less than 892, I would prompt them to circle the number in the hundreds digit first. I don't have to worry about these last two numbers. In fact, I can write them 
on my answer board already. Now it's time for some math work. I know that 8, and if I'm doing less than, it's going to be subtraction. Take away 1 is going to give me 7. 100 less than 892 would be 792. Again, in the number 485, we're trying to get 100 more. Circle the hundreds digit. I can move that 85 right over because I know I'm not going to need it right now. 100 more, I would do 4. Plus 1 more is going to give me 5. That is my new hundreds digit. 585. Lastly, in the number 663, 100 less means subtraction. Circle the hundreds digit. I know that 6 take away 1 is going to give me 5. 5 is my new digit in the hundreds place. And simply carry over the last two digits. 100 less than 663 is 563. I hope that you're finding these videos helpful. Please let me know if you have any more questions. That's how we have been working on adding or taking away 10 more, 10 less, or 100 more, and 100 less in room 333.